Hey gang! Alrighty, welcome back. Matt here with another episode of Zero Carb Journal. This is going to be episode 10. How about that? Cruising right along. So it's Saturday morning. It's uh, 9 o'clock-ish and I'm still <laughs> in winter here. It's stormy out there. We might get some wind and rain on the roof and stuff, but I figured I'd just go ahead and do it anyways. Um, it's supposed to get really cold and snow here this afternoon and freeze me out for a couple more days, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to spring and hoping this is the last of these cold snaps, but we'll see what happens. So this one is going to be pretty quick. I'm just kind of going to give you guys an update on my week. I don't have a theme. Um, haven't made too many observations and uh, mostly just been cruising right along and chilling, but I thought I'd keep the ball rolling here and keep the journals coming and update you guys on my week and how I've been feeling and what's been going on. So let's see. Last week was my one year carnivorsary of uh, turning zero carb, as I told you guys about. So um, it's exciting to turn that corner and, and, you know, be 12 months into this deal. And uh, so I finished up last week and, you know, I had been um, working my way down in terms of my body fat, trying to get rid of um, the spare tire I had gained a year ago. And I told you I had stopped that. And this week, boy, I sure changed tax. I have eaten so much this week, you guys. It's been um, kind of nuts, <laughs> to be honest. And it feels great. Um, you know, I'm my goals are, you know, I do want to build muscle. I do want to get stronger. And I've been frustrated over the last uh, three years of, of working on some calisthenics-related goals because I felt like I wasn't able to get um, significantly stronger without adding a lot of fat up until this past year when, you know, now zero, being zero carb for most of this last year, you know, I ate a lot and, you know, four pounds a day um, without gaining any weight. The reason I dropped my intake was to cut the weight that I had gained a year ago and, and just hadn't fallen off and was in the wrong spot. Um, so I got rid of that and now I'm back to eating to my hunger signals and as well motivated to eat quite a bit so that I can hopefully build up some muscle and, and finally get that front lever and uh, muscle up and a few other goals, handstand push up, a few other things I'm working on. So this week has been pretty interesting. I ate um, quite a bit. I've been mixing it up a little bit, not uh, much variety in terms of, of what it is, but the type, you know, I've been eating mostly just beef. Um, I did try eggs again last weekend. Um, I, it had been Oh, probably 90 days or more since I'd had any eggs so I figured I'd see how those um, made me feel and so I ate eggs on Saturday and Sunday and I felt great it didn't um, make me feel any worse it didn't affect my stools it didn't affect my intestinal um, you know calmness that I've been experiencing and and lack of pain or, or gas or anything like that so it felt I felt really good um, felt fine I ate them Saturday and Sunday and then I took a few days off just to see how I would continue to feel now my normal pattern is four days later I notice you know if I eat something that really caused me inflammation it's three and four days later I usually get edema and uh, you know holding water and swelling and, and feeling usually pretty low um, like I get really fatigued and start feeling kind of like a truck hit me. I sort of did have that on Wednesday and Thursday. Now, I'm not blaming the eggs um, at this point. My digestion was good when I was eating them and I didn't have any other symptoms or signs. So I'm still of the mind that they're just fine for me. But I did feel pretty much like a truck hit me on uh, Wednesday afternoon, Thursday. And, uh, and I think that was due to my workouts. I have gone back to um, a hard workout on Monday and Tuesday with a lot of volume, trying again to, to gain some muscle. So I might have just overdone it. <laughs> I was pretty tired this week, worn out, I think, from doing that. But um, anyways, that was interesting. I added eggs. And along those lines then, I just 
you know, along the lines of adding muscle and, and focusing on uh, my goals with my calisthenics, um, I started eating quite a bit. And man, there was a couple of days there I ate an enormous amount. Like I think I ate six pounds of meat on uh, Thursday probably. And for most of this week, I've been eating at least four. Last night I had three pounds of ground beef and two thin chuck steaks for dinner alone. So, um, that's a lot for me, uh, you know, but I'll finish up one pound of, of hamburgers and just be like, man, I'm still hungry. <clears throat> so I just keep going. And that's one of the beauties of uh, zero carb for me is it really has given me um, the ability to trust my hunger signals and to eat truly what I feel like my body wants to eat. And I don't worry too much about the scale or, you know, a big spike or anything like that because well my body just seems to self-regulate when I eat a lot of food like that I usually end up being not hungry the next day or you know maybe I eat that much food all week like I have this week I've been hungry every day um, and eating a lot every day morning and night and a couple days this week three times a day because I was so hungry um, but normally what I find is that tapers off after you know a little, few little bit of time and then I'm my intake naturally goes back down. Now I am, you know, going to keep stuffing food in myself at least for a little while here because I do really want to get stronger. Um, and you know, in that past two months of sort of keeping my intake down to try and get rid of that fat, I, I did progress with my goals, um, mostly due to dropping body weight, but you know, it's time to add on some more muscle. So yeah, so I've been eating tons. I've been feeling well. Um, you know, sometimes when I eat that much, I don't always feel that great. And uh, for the most part, that hasn't been an issue this week. Um, I didn't stray, you know, last two weeks ago, I guess I tried some ribs and some different stuff and I sort of made myself ill. And this week I haven't had any real bad experiences uh, or real, you know, pushing myself into illness again. So I'm continuing to improve and feel better as I go. So that's been really um, profound for me to just keep progressing and it's it sure is great to oh my mom's birthday was yesterday and to talk to her and just say mom I'm still progressing and, and feeling better and better and and uh, you know to recognize that and be able to share that has been fabulous just really wonderful so that was good I had a lot of work this week and and my energy levels were high you know we had some nice weather I'm starting to get back outside I cut down quite a few trees and starting to load up firewood for next year and clear for light before the leaves um, come back. Uh, you know, it's good to get the deciduous trees down on the ground before they're full of leaves. And so I've been outside working quite a bit, um, running the excavator a little bit, and, uh, you know, really kind of heading for springtime. It's been great. I was over at my friend's place um, checking on his baby lambs the other day, and that sure was exciting to see lambs again. And yeah, spring just seems like it's around the corner. But as I said before, I'm just going to have to dig in a little bit and uh, get myself through. Looks like we're going to be sub freezing here for the next few days. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for that to be over. <laughs> well, what, I, what else can I tell you guys about? I got some great comments from all you guys. Thank you so much, as always, for all of your input and support. And uh, many of you commenting on on your own progress and and what's worked for you and and i love seeing the interaction in the comments with you guys talking back and forth to each other that makes me feel great knowing that we've you know making we're making a community of of people who are helping each other because as you guys know this is one of my main goals and and i i believe you know that that's one of the most valuable things we can do with this uh, venue we've been provided to talk to each other and share our, our experiences is, is try and help each other because it's so hard to find information on this out there and so many people are, um, you know, I know I felt boxed in, in into certain um, beliefs and, and even when you do start to explore there's there's one way of doing things or a few ways of doing things and um, I just feel like we're making some headway and making a difference. So I want to thank you all for that and let you know how much I appreciate all of your input and dialogue and how much that means to me. So it's been great to read all your comments and uh, and to see that I'm not alone and to know that there's others, others out there who have been on a similar path and are starting to find um, their health either through this way of eating or, or just exploring it. 
So I'm going to encourage you to keep exploring. And, uh, you know, one of the most common comments I get is people talking about being close and eating very low carb and wanting to try ZC, but feeling like they, you know, are, need the plants or or start craving them after a little while. And I'd just like to reiterate, you know, my belief that uh, just like an alcoholic can't have one little drink every few days, you know, any amount of carbs, you're going to keep you wanting carbs. I'm, that's I'm not making a value judgment, not saying good or bad, but, you know, it is very difficult to just have a little bit. And so, um, you know, for those of you who are interested in getting there, you do, in my opinion, just have to dive in and you might have to buckle down for the first week or two and just, you know, stay the course. And one of the hardest parts, too, is eating enough you know, and you, you, you end up feeling low energy and, and then your body tells you you need bread, <laughs> hopefully not bread, but something, fruit, you know, your body's like, oh, I'm dying, your brain, or your brain, you know, gets out of control there and says, I need carbs. And, uh, you know, really, those are two things going on, in my opinion, there. It's the addiction and the gut biome and everything else in your body that's used to carbs saying, you know, feed us some carbs. And, uh, and the other part is you just aren't eating enough and your body maybe isn't as, as good at changing, you know, what you are eating to energy. So you need to eat a lot of meat. You need to eat a lot more than you think. So don't restrict in those early days and uh, eat up. And I think you'll get over the hump if you're if you're trying to. So I know I've talked about that a lot, but it is something I keep seeing. So thought I'd bring that up again. So, yeah, um, I think, you know, I'm going to make this one really short. I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now. And I am um, going to work on trying to work out the live uh, broadcast type um, stuff here on YouTube and see if I can get a little more interaction with you guys going in the next one. And I might work on that this weekend. We'll see. Maybe I'll pop in live here. Oh, I'll probably be uploading for a little while today anyways, but uh, maybe later on tomorrow or something I might give that a try and just see if you guys can see me. I'm about ready to to try that. So don't have a lot else to share. Got some work coming up this week that'll keep me busy. Um, I've been really productive and, and uh, real excited about where things are going. And as spring turns into, or as winter turns into spring, I'm sure I'm going to have more and more of that. And uh, when it stops raining and freezing, I am going to have made some preparations to take you guys outside, show you around. So I hope to do that as well in the near future. And you know, why don't you let me know if you have any ideas about what you'd like to know more about. I've had some of you ask about workouts. I could do a whole um, episode on my journey with uh, becoming fit and, you know, finding the body I, I like. Um, it's only been a few years, so I'd love to share what I know there with you if you're interested. Um, I've been uh, real excited about the progress there. Not, I mean, physical progress for sure but it's been a lot of fun to learn about and my progress is constant in terms of study and research and what I can learn in, in that space and so that's been very rewarding for me so I'd be happy to share that there's so much fitness stuff on YouTube though I'm not sure if it's just redundant or whatever but it's uh, been a good thing for me in my 40s as I approach 50 here to learn about that stuff so I'd love to share that um, I know a lot of you are asking about food. I'm expanding my food choices a little bit. I ate some Chuck steaks. I ate a Chuck eye steak. And uh, I'd be happy to show you some cooking stuff if you'd like to see it. I, I, I can get over my embarrassment of my meat cookies. <laughs> so happy to show you those. Um, or I'll just keep rambling about my weeks and how I'm feeling. Hopefully it'll just keep being boring and better and better every week. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? So yeah, I've got a doctor's appointment coming up. I think it's in a month, um, so we can talk about those things too. I do have good blood work on all of my markers if you'd like to talk about that. Um, any of those things I can ramble on about. So give me some ideas about what you'd like to hear and how I can help you and what information I can offer, and I'd be happy to share. Okay, so we're just going to do a short 15-minute one today, and I'll get on with the rest of my day. And uh, as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching and for all your kind support and for your input and comments and and participation and yeah i really appreciate it so okay i think i'll wrap it up there and i will see you next week have a great day everybody see ya <laughs> <laughs>